Welcome back to Jungle Ruins 2. I am Izzy Fettuccini and we are about to enter level 2, the jungle pools. So now, let's take a deep breath and keep on moving. Because that's why I ended the video before entering the level. We've got a bit of swimming to do. So the level has changed, but the breath bar has not gone back up. So now there are a couple of sharks in this area, but you can easily ignore them. Killing them is actually very time consuming and it's a bit difficult. So I'll just ignore them. So if you come straight forward, you can see this air pocket here. And this is actually a safe space. So um, they often don't come over here. This one actually has today. but. On the rare occasion they do come over here, you can't really shoot them because they're a bit too far away. They don't actually come very high up. But anyway, let's see what else there is. So, we have some Uzi clips in this area and... Well, two pickups of Uzi clips and some Uzis is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> we also have a large med pack and some flares. Cool. So also, if you have a look around, you might spot that lever up there. So we need, a, need to raise a block right there so that we can reach the lever. And this first area is very much a lever to pull a lever situation. So we're going to head into the water and to the left there is a little gap to go through. So there's a lever through there that will raise the block. So we can pull this lever that's going to open another underwater grate. So we can pull another lever which will open the grate so that we can leave. So I will do a bit of saving just here because the swims can be tight and also you've got the sharks here as well. Okie dokie, so the first lever is through a gap just over here. So just swim up. Oh. And here's the lever. Okay, so it has shown you what it's done. And we're going to go straight back there. That was quite an unusual butt angle. And the shocks will be waiting for you. Be aware of that. Ooh. Okay. So I was actually, um, I forgot which lever did what just then. I was going to go and pull a different lever. Nope, this is what we want to do. Come to here and pull this. Okay. So this swim is incredibly tight and I do recommend saving here. Okay, so let's hop back in. And there's a gap right in the far corner. So try your best not to get stuck here because this is incredibly tight. So here's the gate that opened. So this one does not show you what it does, so that's kind of helpful in a way, because it's not wasting your time. But be aware, yet again, the sharks will be waiting. So just keep going, keep going. So it is possible to do without taking any health off of you. But even if it does, it's really not a problem. Aha! So even if you've lost half of your health and you want to do a Nomad challenge, then you're still good. You are absolutely fine. So now I'm going to go through the gate that's just opened so that we can leave this area. It's right in front, just here. I'm stuck. 
So there's also a crocodile in this area. I recommend just keeping left a little bit so you're not as close. And you can swim up here. The crocodile won't follow you up here. Okie dokie, so let's just climb one out. No goodies to find in this area, so just keep moving. There's actually not too many pickups at all in this section. They're mostly all in one spot. They're not scattered around the place. So come through here and once you get so far these doors will actually close up. There'll be like a an earthquake or something. There we go. There's also a couple of tigers. Okay. So it comes through to where they came from and that's the way you want to go but first there is a secret in here that we can go and find. So just look for the tree with the ladder on the side. Here it is. Ah, oh, I'm stuck in the grass. Right, so just jump into this space and here we are. There are some more Uzis. What else is there? Small med pack. Uzi clip. And some more Uzi clips. Awesome stuff. Okay, so now we're gonna go through to the next section. Whoops. It is a bit slopey. Okay, so here, you can't see them yet, but once we step onto this slope in front, two crocodiles will spawn in the water. So it's a bit naughty that you can't see them, but I guess that stops you from shooting them. So, oh, he got me. There's three ways out. One of them I've actually passed already. So just keep going. Uh, the second spot to get out is where I will be getting out. And I'll show you the third spot when we get there. So just here by this gate is where I'm getting out. And you can see that we will need we will need a gem to open this gate. So the third spot is right over in the far corner there. Uh, so firstly, let me just I'll wait for them to turn up. They're a bit slow. So where we hot into the water, there there's a way to get out of the water just right there. I actually took a right turn, so if you kept on going, you'd find the way out. And you'd see that there's actually monkey bars up there. So, but we actually cannot reach the monkey bars yet. So that's something we're going to have to do later on. So now, the only thing we can do, hop, hop, hop up to here, follow this passage. So just be careful here because there's a few slopes. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, so while I'm here let me just point out. You can just see the light patch above Lara's head on the ceiling. So that's the monkey bars and straight over in the corner is how we can get out of the water. But you can't do anything in that corner yet. We need to raise blocks just over there so that we can reach the monkey bars. But now, come on through. Okay. So that door has just closed behind us and this area is surprisingly easy to get stuck in. So you can use this little pool as kind of a, a landmark, like this is the way we entered. And if we continue along through to the other side, you can see over in the distance there's a doorway there. So that's our goal right now actually, we want to get that door open. And on the left wall there is a wall torch we need to light. And actually these flames here, you can't interact with them. 
they are just decoration, you can't interact with them at all. So we need to find another way to light a torch once we've actually found it, so that we can then light that brazier, and the door will open. So let's continue looking around. Come to the right, let's see what's over here. So there's a lever. And that does two things, that opens this door here and it opens the door straight down there. So if we pull it, it will actually show us what it does. It's timed, so let's just pull it and have a look. So that's actually the longer timed door. That's the first one we're going through. So the other one is right over there. And before I do anything, I will save the game. Not the save button. <laughs> okay, so now pull the lever. And just do a roll. Don't flip back because you will bang into the wall that's right behind you. So you've got a straight path down here to the other door, and it's a little bit tight. Oh no. Oh, just. Just made it. But here is our torch. So through the other room, the closer room, is where we're going to light the torch. So just come straight back this way. To the door, so just drop your torch right in front of the door. And there is a passage right and left of the door. I will come to that later on. So now I'll just pull this lever again. And the timer is a bit longer here, so no need to panic. Grab your torch, and in we go. So you see the lever at the end there? That's what's going to turn on the flame. And it's these both of these tiles here that's going to ignite, so just drop your torch in front of one of them, doesn't matter which one. Okay. I'm going to save again because I might get set on fire. Okay. Nice! So now we're actually stuck in here because the door closed behind us and there's not really a way out. So if you have a look around you might spot that high ledge up there. So that's actually the way out for us but we can't get up there with the torch. So that's what this little gap in the wall is for. You're going to throw your torch through there. Okay and now we can leave. So that's what the two passageways left and right of the main door here was for. So one is what we're going to come out of. Okay. And through this one is where we're going to get the torch. So sometimes your torch can sort of be inside the wall. If that happens, just come right up to the wall and press action, sidestep. Press action again, see if you find it that time, and sidestep and action, and just do that. <laughs> You'll eventually find your torch. But now, now let's go and use it. Here we go. So you don't need your torch again, so just get rid of it. And inside here, there is a lever. What does it do? Nice! So that's raised those blocks there so we can now reach the monkey bars. So from there we have a straight path to the end where we entered. Here we go, so don't forget that pool is a landmark, so the door opens for us once we've done what we need to do. 
it won't open unless you've done that. Awesome stuff. So, just climb up just here. And where we entered this section, I'll just point that out. That's straight over there. We slid down and there were the two crocodiles waiting here for us. So this is an area you could have climbed out to shoot them. Cool, so just follow the monkey bars all the way along. Awesome stuff, so when you get to the end, just drop down and we can enter here. So in here there's not one, not two, but three tigers. So just get rid of them all. Awesome. So then come straight to the other side from where we entered. And I'm going to save here because there's possibly going to be a bit of jumping about to do. Okay, so there will be a native. Just jump over him and mind the pool. And then your shots are more accurate if you just hop back. You get more space as well if you hop back. So he can do a lot of damage to you. Be aware of that. There we go. So he has dropped a key. And if you come further back, you will see the keyhole. So we'll use the key there, and then the grate just there will open. Cool. Nice is pro probably what I should have said. <laughs> uh oh. My bad. So yeah, he, he did hit me this time. <laughs> so I'm getting distracted today. I think it's because I've got my headset plugged in and the sound is still coming out of the main speakers for some reason. I don't know why it's not acknowledging I have a headset. It acknowledges the microphone part of the headset but not the, uh, the speaker part of the headset so that's just weird and annoying. So that's off-putting. But anyway, when you hop down here, you want to make sure you grab and you want to be on the most right-hand side because straight down below, that's a sloped block and this is the higher part of the block. So just drop straight down there. Okay, and just around that column structure thing over there, there are two Shiva statues that's going to come, come out and say hello. So just like before, keep pressing the look button to swap between them. Oh, down already. Okay, usually I run back around them to the other side of the room, but not today. So they both drop a key, one gold and one silver. If you struggle to find them in the water, just use your binoculars and put the lights on, on them. And if we come around the back from where they came from, there are actually two keyholes this time, so we can use both of our keys we've just picked up. Okay, so using both of these has opened the door right here and here is our gem that we need, the jungle gem. So once you've picked that up, this block will raise so that you can climb out of here. Awesome. 
Awesome. So just follow it round and you will get to this part where you can either carry on going up or there's this side passage here. So I mentioned, did I mention? I'm not sure if I mentioned. Uh, there is a closed door for a secret just opposite where we need to put the jungle gem in that receptacle where there's the closed gate where I shot the crocodiles. So to open that gate to the secret we need to pull two levers. So lever one is down here. So if you're not bothered about secrets just carry on up. But I'm gonna go pull the lever because we want the secrets. So sorry I can't remember but I really don't think I mentioned about the secret being right there. Sorry. I probably didn't say it there because that's the moment I realised that the sound is coming out of the speakers when it shouldn't be. But anyway, follow the passage into here and we do have just a few items, so there's a large med pack. And more Uzis with two lots of Uzi clips. So the game has been giving out ammo for the Uzis but if we have a look, 330 isn't really all that much but never mind. So the lever is actually behind all these blocks. We've got these three blocks in front and in front of this middle one there is another block. So I recommend saving just here in case you want to start over. You feel as though you made a mistake and you want them back as they were. So this is a good place to save. So you've got a file. Okay, and what we want to do, we want to get the three blocks along one of these walls. Doesn't matter if you do it right side or left side, I'll stick them all to the right side, just because. So firstly, pull out this. This left hand block. And then pull it into the centre. So you can't actually remove any blocks from the room because at the entrance that tile has a slight slope on it so you can't pull any out. So now the block that's in the middle there, straight in front, uh, we actually want to put it where this block in front of Lara is. So we then firstly we want to pull this block straight where Lara is actually standing. I am not making any sense. So I put this block here. Okay, so then we can push this block into the gap where it was. Nice! So the block that's just sticking out in the middle of the room, we can now put that into the little gap. Nice. So that's all three blocks in a line and now we can pull this one. So just pull it twice and we'll be able to get behind it. Cool beans. So be careful you don't run off the edge. But if we come inside we can see this is where we have just fought the two Shiva statues. And there is a lever right here. So any lever like this that's just on one tile, don't forget you can't actually stand on the tile to get around. You have to actually drop down and shimmy to get around so that you can stand just on the corner of the tile and use the lever. So it's shown us where the secret is but nothing's happened. So you can either drop down now and go the same path we took or you can backtrack this way. I'll just go this way just because really doesn't matter. I bet it's about the same amount of time to get to either way. Okay. 
So now we can carry on up the path. There is actually a hidden hole, gap thing at the end. Here it is. So it's easy not to see this. Even if you do miss it and you fall down, you will take damage, but it's not a lot. So don't be worrying. So let's have a look. Where on earth are we now? Well, actually, down here. We recognise this now. We have been here. So we know where we are. So from here, we have a straight path to the exit. Here we are. Remember this pool that I said uses as a landmark? This is where we are. So that's good. We know where we are. So now we've got the jungle gem. We can go and use that. Whoops. Well, whatever. <laughs> okay, here we are. So just go ahead and use the jungle gem. So there's no items in this area, so just continue along. Okay, and through the water, you see the tunnel down there? That's actually going to lead us to the next level. But we haven't got that secret yet. So just in the corner is lever 2 to open the door to the secret. So be, f be sure to pull this lever if you want the secret. Nice, the door is open. So let's go back and grab that. So as you were trying to escape the crocodiles earlier on, this is also a place you can come out of the water climb on out. So to actually climb out fully to get to the secret just hop over to this flat space and then you want to jump to this sort of V section. It can take a few practices but stick with it and you'll get it eventually. There we go. So it can seem a bit difficult to start with. So here we go. This is the gold skull secret of the level. Nice. So now we've got that. We have completed this level. There is nothing left to do. I wanted to do an epic swan dive just there, but I failed. <laughs> so now I'll just approach the water, because that's where we're heading to to get to the next level. So I'm going to come around to the left hand side here because there is a really long swim and there's another chance you might lose some of your breath or health. Yeah, you'll lose your health because you've got no breath. That's what I'm trying to say. So this is actually the closest point to the tunnel. As you can see that everything else is a bit far away. So this is where I'm going to end the video today. So thank you for watching, hope you're enjoying this game, because I am, I think it's awesome. <laughs> and I will see you next time, take it easy guys and girls.